Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Rolling with Stone, brought to you by Maloofs. You know Tom, I'm Taylor. Coach, you go one and one on the weekend, your first weekend in Big 12 play. What did you see from Kansas on Friday night? You know, first of all, they played really well. Um, they've always been good on the ball, and I thought they were really good on the ball Friday night. But having watched the game since then, it kind of unfolded like a lot of our games with Kansas have, in that they have a lot of the ball, we created enough chances to win, and we, fortunately the last six times we've done that. However, in this case, you know, two penalty kicks later, we found ourselves in a bit of a hole, and uh, we dragged ourselves out of it. We thought late, but that goal was uh, called back. And then, you know, Kansas closed out the game well. So it was a interesting opener for our young team to be, I think they had a record crowd, to be down, mm -hmm. uh, to feel a little bit slighted, and to have to fight through all that emotion and kind of refocus on the game. And I think we learned a lot from it, to be honest. Um, and Kansas played really well, but I think we we're going to take a lot from that game, and I think that showed on Sunday. They came out Sunday and were very strong. You blank Iowa State uh, three to nothing. Jade King, though, and Rebecca O'Brien, Big 12 uh, Offensive and Defensive Players of the Week. That's the first time that that's happened since 2014, but how proud are you of the way that they were able to perform? You know, just the whole team bouncing back and responding to a disappointment on Friday was important. And then there's a lot of pressure on young players on this particular team. They're, they didn't get to come in and coast behind seniors and juniors. And so for those guys to respond in the way they did was great. Um, Jade's first goal was spectacular. Her second goal was a great finish off a cross. Uh, after Jordy Haar and Megan McCullough had back-to-back one-twos down the flank. So it was a good goal all the way around. And then Rebecca just put the icing on the cake. And that's been a, a hurdle for us. Like, one nothing, we seem in control, 2-0, but that 2-0 lead is precarious at times. But when you put that third goal up in the second half, kind of kills the other team's halftime talk, and it really just put the game, I think, uh, at rest for us. And so that was, that was big by Bex. And, you know, as far as a free kick goes, you can't hit any better than that. Tied a bow on it right there, but now you've got a whole week to come back and, you know, rest your girls a little bit. What do you hope to accomplish in your, your week off? Well, we just got to get better. And that's the thing, when you get into season mode, you're kind of in a routine of rest, recovery, play, hard practice, tactical practice, recover, play, hard practice, tactical mm -hmm. practice, recover, play. And when you get this two-week time period, you can really pull away from Oklahoma State and Baylor, who we have on the horizon, and really just worry about ourselves and get after some things that we've been needing to address that you just run out of time from uh, for week to week. And so that's been the mindset. They had today off, and we get back at it again tomorrow. But October 7th, a huge game. It's going to be televised Oklahoma State right here in Lubbock. For Coach, I'm Taylor. This is Rolling with Stone.